what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be talking about how Jamie Foxx is now shutting down dating rumors with this new mystery woman he was spotted with. Now, a couple days ago, he was spotted leaving outside of a club and he was escorting a young woman to her car. A lot of the major networks picked up the story. They thought that he was stepping out on Katie Holmes as if like he was cheating on her and they wanted to know what the deal was and how he was now dating this new woman. There was blogs who started reporting like who this new woman is and they were saying it along the lines of him dating her. Like, oh, he's dating such and such now, blase, blase. After the reports surfaced detailing this new woman of possibly dating Jamie Foxx, then there was reports that he had now split from his girlfriend, Katie Holmes, who he dated for six years. Their relationship was very low key. Up until this year, you started to see them out at events, on red carpets, at Met Galas, and so on and so forth. But hey, after he popped up with this woman, then we heard articles of confirmation that that they were no longer together. Well, despite the confirmation that him and Katie Holmes are no longer an item, he decided to come forward and shut down the rumors that this new mystery woman was somebody that he was dealing with. I'm going to show you guys the live video of him talking about it and telling everyone that they are nothing more than music business partner relationship. Here it goes. Oh. I just want I just want the real ones to know. Now the now the fake ones and I'm sort of getting stuff off my chest when it comes to some of the you know, some of the goofy stuff and we don't have to address it wholeheartedly. But we we're business with it, but we love the young artists, we love pushing it. Well old artist, whatever you are. But we push it, man. And we're gonna continue to push it. Whether some people like it or not. There you go. See, that's that's nice, right? That's I'm staying that's contained because you know I want to blow the fork up on some motherfuckers, <laughs> but it's all good. Facts. Facts. Uh, hey, I let that Gang nigga guy banger red. Thing. We blowing money yeah. for the fuck of it. Yes, they keep sir, saying, why you change, change nigga? nigga? I'm, I'm just a rich nigga, nigga doing rich shit. shit. That's his new single that's blowing up right now. Too Bro, Short just laid his vocals. Everybody laying the vocals. So, so like I was saying again, Jay Young. Yes, sir. I met Jay Young. Listen to this. I met Jay Young. Who was background for one of my move, one of a terrible movie that I did? <laughs> Shit suck. But he was in the audience, and I made a joke like he sort of looked like Tupac, and he, he creeped me. People laughed, but he came up. Nigga, he called me Tupac Bryant. He was like, nigga, you look like Tupac and Kobe. How the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! That's what made it even funny. That's what made it. But 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 check out how the young G approached me. He said, Hey man, I get all the jokes, but I really do rap. And I said, Okay, okay. I was on the mic. He really do rap. Put his music on, the whole place went crazy at this club scene. And that very day, so y'all know the history, I felt him. I didn't do no background check on him. I said, bro, come to L.A. He came to L.A. And, and, and something that he didn't get to yet, I stayed at his house when I came to L.A. Yeah, exactly. I okay. stayed at his, his house on that same couch. Man, I came here. Um, Where'd you Jamie, stay? I slept. In, at Jamie's house, Jamie is a man of his word. First of all, so let's let's talk about this. I slept at Jamie's house, and not only did I sleep here, he took me to do exactly what he said he was gonna do. He took me to audition for the Tupac movie. This was before he knew about the music, but he was like, "Man, I want you to play Tupac." Now, I, now his was crazy. After we're talking about this Tupac situation, I'm gonna post in the next hour his Tupac. His Tupac audition, mm. and you tell me if we wasn't on to something. Of course, they went on and did a, a, a great job with it. Shout out to everybody. Shout that out to that. everybody yeah. that was with that LT. Did a great job. But I'm saying this to say, when I met Ed Sheeran, I didn't know him from Adam. He slept on my couch for six weeks. He ended up going on to do great things. Nick Cannon was 13 years old. He used to sleep in my old house. He was 13. My sister wouldn't let him come in because we was partying too hard. But he was. <laughs> uh, uh, when Neo, before Neo's Neo, he would come to the crib. Everybody come to my crib. Man. And absolutely. no matter who you are. But here was the thing. There was a thing that was that was leaked in the press. It was a young lady by the name of Sailor Bobby. I did the same thing with her. When I met her, I met her. I was I was he he, he I was the one who introduced brought, me to like her. yo Fox. Said this girl is amazing. So she she's on my steps singing Beyonce broken down on the she's playing the guitar. I said, How the fuck when did this happen? So we took her under our wing. 
And if you do your background history, as opposed to scandal chasing, mm-hmm. we went to Power 106, and I introduced Boy, her before any introduced whole her as squad, my whole new label. artist, whole squad, whole label. So now the situation that happened in the press, where I'm escorting her to my car to 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 put her to put her in the car, my artist right. who hangs out with my kids, who's as young as my daughter, and I'm not no old nigga out here with no young folks, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking to the real right now. It's just for the real fans. Mm-hmm. So, whatever that is, and I know what business I'm in, you know, and people try to make mountains out of mohill. But what I wanted to say was, we wanted to treat her the same way and giving her the opportunity. So, some of the haters and everything, right. and I told her like this, it's going to be this way. It's a double standard when it comes to women. When it was the guys, everything was cool. When it was the women, they, they tried to make it. They didn't say nothing about me. They didn't say nothing about Ed Sheridan. Yeah, they, they tried to make, make it else, something but else. But we're going to protect our own. Am I right? Absolutely. we right here. We're going to protect our own. And at the Got same to. time, like I said, I spoke to that girl's mom and put she put her trust in me. And so we want to make sure that he she has the opportunity to show you and the she's talent. talented. Show you the talent she's that talented. we saw. She's talented. Right? So so enough. Beautiful, of that talented, is out there great on energy, our show. all of that good so stuff. So some so all of the un- unnecessary hate for the woman just because the guys is coming here. That all of a sudden they digging hard, they're working hard, but then the girl does it. All of a sudden she has an ulterior motive. Stop that shit. Come We're about now. real artists. Especially, I know it's, it's, it's a lot of women out there. I know it's a lot of people looking at this right now that got a dream that's out there working yeah. hard. So if you got a dream, you working hard, and then you get you're blessed enough. God bless you enough to run into a man like this, and he's ready to change your life or give you the opportunity. Because ultimately, it's up to me, it's up to Sailor, it's up to us to do what we got to do. But someone like this that 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 bridge that gap and say, look, I'm gonna lead you to the water. Let's see if you drink it. Exactly. When you get someone that's like this and that's doing it like he's and, doing it, and and. Like him and RD and all of these guys we meet, man, it's a culture out here. Right, uh, uh, Taylor. It's a culture of meeting people and feeling something and doing our thing. Sometimes people don't understand it and don't try to let the the media or whatever like that strip us of what we do as artists. We are really artistic human beings here. Fox always yeah. have an open door policy. Exactly. Look, doors open, open doors door. Open. Literally, literally, the door, door is open, open right, right now. Here, get you. Come walk through this door. Walk through this goddamn door. It's, a, it's always been an open door policy since I've known him. So, there it is. Jay Young. Yes, right sir. now, now, now or never is out. Now we're never out. Get it on crazy. IG. Got the new single out called Rich Shit. Oh Ooh. my god, we've been fucking the whole we, city yeah. up with this. But what one. I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play two things. I'm gonna play Jay Young's um, Tupac audition. Audition. I'm gonna play Sailor when she's on the steps. Uh, sing. But um, I'm in Jamie Foxx's studio right now, and I freaking love Jamie. He's such a sweetheart, so down to earth, and because of him, all this stuff is happening right now for me. Um, yeah. So basically, I'm pretty sure I've already moved out to California. That's the update in my life. I'm here, and I'm ready to work, and get into it <laughs> um yeah this is crazy i like this is probably like a bad life because i like i still like i don't have words to explain how grateful i am but yeah signing off hope you guys all have a good monday bye <laughs>
think I'm in love with Nicky Knight. I think I'm in love with Nicky Knight. I think I'm in love. Oh, oh. I think I'm in love with Nicky Knight. I think I'm in love with Nick and Knight.